All right, guys, so I went out and did it and bought another project. And I'm getting ready to take it on a little test drive. So I bought this 2002 Volkswagen Turbo Beetle. All right, let's go drive this thing. It's got a squeaky idler pulley, but I got one on the way from eBay. All right, I think we can open her up a little bit up here. We'll land to her just a little bit, see what she's got. She broke the tires loose. First thing I need to do is cut this damn exhaust off. This thing's too quiet. It's cool though, you can hear the turbo a lot with the stock exhaust, but I need it a little bit louder. It's only got 129,000 miles. I love the little flower that the Volkswagens come with. Little vase. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make a uh, get like a black rose or make a black rose out of metal and put it in there or something cool. Or put a cigar in there, that'd be pretty cool. It's got the monsoon radio. It's got really good sound. Khalid disclosure, know your worth is on TJX. It's got heated heated leather seats. I think that's traction control hazards. ASR. Yep, that's traction because when you Turn that on, the traction light comes on. And your defrost. It's got a cool little oh shit handle. Glove box is broke. It's got the gray leather interior and the typical Volkswagen Beetle door panel issues, which I can fix that myself. And it's missing a door panel entirely over here. I gotta find a door panel. So if any of you guys got one, I need one. Mine's got the silver up here, but I can always paint that. It's got the cool headrest too with the holes on them, front and rear. It's got a pretty big back seat. That's why I bought this car, because I, I got two kids, so I can still fit the kids in here. It's similar to like an Audi TT, except for this one has actually has a back seat where the Audi TT really doesn't at all. Cool little lights. I got the sunroof. Materials come off that. For a thousand bucks, so I can't complain. I picked this one up for a thousand bucks. It's got the tilt and slide. And it even has the clock and the temperature up here. That's pretty cool. And the vanity lights. Thinking about putting an aftermarket steering wheel in it, which. I know it sucks you do away with the airbag, but I feel like that would be cool in this car to have the aftermarket. The center console is jacked up too. It's all messed up. Oh, there's the glove box latch. E-brake. Here's a power outlet, which is pretty neat. It's got one here, 
you could use that for the rear seats and it also has one up here in the front it's got two outlets which is cool most small cars don't have that shifter it's got the five speed in it cup holders it's got a little net like in the door panel pretty cool but yeah that's about it for the interior it's got a super long dash it's like there's like four feet of dash up here you could like you can literally store stuff up here if you wanted to. All right, guys. So the test drive didn't go so well. The oil pressure light came on. So I got to figure out what's going on there. I got to pull the oil pan. I think the pickup maybe stopped up. Hopefully that'd be the easiest fix. But other than that, it runs pretty good. It's a pretty cool little car for a thousand bucks. 2002 Volkswagen Beetle turbo glx it's a sport model it's got the spoiler in the back here that goes up and down i could hear it when i was test driving when i come to a stop i could hear it dropping down and going back up they're a bitch to work on but they're pretty quick with the turbo it's a pretty quick car it's got the moon roof the roof antenna this one has the 16 inch wheels, five spokes. I just figured for a thousand bucks it'd be a fun little car to play with. And here was the original, the main problem was the clutch fork it was broken. Completely broken. So it's got the dual mass clutch from the factory. I did away with that and I bought a single mass clutch kit for it which is pretty cheap i think it was only like 160 bucks 170 bucks something like that so the clutch feels great in it and i got the new timing belt and water pump in it too so hopefully i can get the oil pressure straightened out on it and be a good driver fun little car all right let's take a look under this hood here it's got the 1.8 turbo and believe it or not I actually got the engine cover that goes on this which is really nice looking I got it in the back here let me once again I got this car because the back seat so big look it doesn't look that big but believe it or not it's roomy here I'll sit in it look at that here look seats back and I still got room. In an Audi TT, your your legs would be off to the side like this. Trust me, because I, I know because I had one. But let me show you this engine cover. And it's got fold down back seat. Look at that. Oh wait, the engine cover's not back there. Oh, here it is. Look at that. These things usually never survive. These things are usually long gone. Within a couple of years of these things being new. Pretty cool. You really quiet the engine down a lot. Because it's got, it's pretty thick plastic. So it knocks down some of the the noises from the turbo or injectors turbo stuff like that but yeah it's just it's a lot of engine crammed in a little space it was a pain in the ass putting the timing belt in i had to take off all this crap here all this my hands were bloody that night and the clutch was a bitch too as well so, all around nightmare to work on, but pretty quick, fun car when you get it going. So, it's not really going to be my daily driver. It's just kind of going to be a fun car. I think I'll cut the exhaust off of it and just have fun with it.